to talk about wa little water a little bit more on the side. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but in my day job, I spend a lot of time on what you see here, first responder technology, first reality training and drones for firefighters. Um, I can talk about this till the cows come home. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but we have sold some VR training through um, through one of our partners out who is uh, who is in Mumbai. And so actually I was, I started my Indian trip when I was in, in November um, in Mumbai uh, last uh, yeah, November. And we've, we've sold and, and worked with the different fire training academies and fire services with that technology. Um, so I could, I could speak to first responder tech a bit more, but one thing I did find very interesting was when I was in Mumbai um, was just the fire challenges where you have some of these beautiful new apartment buildings next to some, sprawling slums and just what are the what's that challenge what are the differences that it creates and how do you train for that how do you prepare for that what technology actually makes sense for individuals or first responders so um, a lot more i could talk about if you want to ask questions on that later but i'm gonna skip um so a lot of what i do and what has kind of led me to where i am today is i develop community i create podcast i create awareness and i do that with my two hats public safety, which is very much on smart firefighting technology adoption. And the other is on the sustainable development goals. And as you can see there, Fleming Bessenbacher is the chairman of Unleash. And I'm going to share a video here in a bit about my experience with Unleash. But Unleash is an innovation lab focused on the sustainable development goals that brings together a thousand individuals every year to talk about innovation and technology and solutions for the sustainable development goals. And this last year, it was in Mysore, India and Karnataka. Um, and I had the chance working on SDG 13, and I was a facilitator this time where I was working very closely with individuals from every country in the world. Um, this was one of the teams I'd worked with, and um, you know, for me, working with young individuals that are very passionate about the SDGs and just passionate about helping people really fires me up. So I want to share you a video about my time in Karnataka. It gives you context about my experience there. Um, has a lot of... Uh, one of the coolest things you'll see at the beginning, they did a, a kind of opening dance ceremony, and I didn't really know what was going on except I was I was I was sitting next to um, a female from India, and it was an opening dance from all the different states in India, and that's one thing I really admired and I knew about this, but how culturally diverse India is, and it was really cool to see that see that in action. So I'll share this video with you, and then we'll talk more after it.
and they're actually doing kind of a smaller hack. And it's it's a really cool opportunity for different corporations. And like Infosys was a big sponsor of this, and it was a chance to kind of allow them to use their facilities, um, and as as well as other corporations that want to get involved. Um, so um, so yeah, and I'll just kind of touch on to some of the other things I'd mentioned. Um, I do a lot of what I've, where I'm at with my career is through community development, content creation. Um, yeah, you know, here this is here me interviewing the um, the head of the U.S. Fire Service, Dr. Laura Moore Merrill, leading some panels with some people from Microsoft and Amazon. So as you can tell, just being a communicator is coming to where I am. And now I'm going to touch on the kind of the final things where I've now started to break off into sort of independent consulting and working with different companies. Uh, but there's three companies right now that I'm very passionate about that have a lot of application for the world. Um, this one company uses RNA technology to really understand not only if there are zebra mussels or if there are invasive carps or if there are stuff there, but how much of it is living there and, and to what extent. And then you can use it to get baselines to understand, are we eradicating or are we improving species in a way? So a very cool water quality aquatic ecosystem technology that I'm happy to share more about. Um, next is a water quality as a service company that I'm working with where water quality data, if you look at these tests, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's a bunch of numbers and words. What does that actually even mean to me and how do I do anything with it? Um, but this company has made it very easy for you to understand what it is, what are you testing for, how can you use it? Um, and it's just a, a water quality, making it very easy to understand. It's something where I know this this is a challenge that that everywhere around the world faces. Um and then, and then lastly, uh, is earth observation. Obviously there's, when you can see the world from a bird's eye view, can you do anything from bird's eye view? Um, gives you a whole different perspective and um, satellite access has become much more attainable and accessible. Um, this is one particular company called, uh, called Upstream Tech, um, but there's all sorts of them. We're taking the data from satellites and processing it in a way that allows you to actually understand, allows you to actually know what to do with it. Um, and so I'm really excited about this technology and see a lot of, uh, a lot of potential and room, room for growth um, as it pertains to giving insights to farmers, giving in, whether it's helping to find, like I have a friend that's working in Nepal that's doing a combination of photos on the ground and earth pictures to be able to get baselines of farmer's land to allow them to then get insurance. Then once they have insurance, then they can get a loan. And it's it just before getting insurance, I know was a problem. And there were these kind of like phony fake farmers that were saying they were get, get they were on the land. And, and I don't know if I fully understood the phony farmer part, but um, just a really cool way to use this new tech to get insights unlike before. Um, similar to uh, my talk about Blue Mind earlier, and this is, I'm part of two board of directors um, where I work on conservation projects with Keep Elkhart Blue and the Wetlands Initiative. Um, just trying to take this technology and apply it to help keep the environment and, and water safe. Um, and then the final thing I'll talk about here today is um, I love comics. I've always been a fan of like X-Men and, and Simpsons or SpongeBob or stuff like that. Um, and we've been kind of developing this idea of, of water quality needs a voice. And we wanted to have someone that celebrated water quality activities and, and promoted kind of the key fundamentals. So think like a coach, whether it's like Coach Wooden or Coach K or some of the best cricket or kabaddi coaches in the world. Um, and that kind of tough love, hard on you um, and following the fundamentals. Um, and sorry, that's my phone. Uh, my new microphone seems to pick up everything. Um, and uh, just this is the idea of... Uh, coach and this is kind of the most specific water one this foundation i work with has also created some other mixed media content in the form of like comics and augmented reality and storytelling um and obviously this one with water um and the water quality of voice is the most important but um i i do sit on the a board i don't do much for them uh to help create stories and movements around water so um, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I talked a lot about public self, public safety tech, uh, whether it's uh, water dropping, water treatment, uh, water dropping from the sky, virtual reality drones, and a lot of public health and some of my background. So I hope I hope some of that made sense. Um, it's very near and dear to my heart, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to talk with all of you today and look forward to answering some of the questions and talking through some of the, the nuances here. Thank you.